Um, this first poem is by Paul Muldoon. It's called Zoological Positivism Blues. Come with me to the petting zoo, its waist-high turnstile gate. Come with me to the petting zoo. We'll prove it's not too late for them to corner something new that can humiliate. You know the zoo in Phoenix Park began with one wild boar. It's in the zoo in Phoenix Park we heard the lion roar and disappointment made its mark on the thorn forest floor. I guess we'll hire two folding bikes. They rent them by the day. I guess we'll hire two folding bikes and you'll meet me halfway. Why do orangutans look like they're wearing bad toupees? The mealworm and the cricket snacks. The tender foliage. The mealworm and the cricket snacks are still stored in a fridge for when the polar bears start back across the old land bridge. You snuggled up to me at dawn for fear we'd oversleep. You snuggled up to me at dawn. The tickets are dirt cheap for outings in a carriage drawn by two merino sheep. So come with me to the petting zoo and we'll see how things stand. Come with me to the petting zoo. I'll learn to take command. I'm sure we'll find something to do if we have time on our hands. Thank you. Um, thanks. Uh, this last one is by Paula Meehan. It's called The Solace of Artemis. I read that every polar bear alive has mitochondrial DNA from a common mother, an Irish brown bear who once roved out across the last ice age, and I am comforted. It has been a long, hot morning with the children of the machine. Their talk of memory, of buying it, of buying it cheap. But I, memory keeper by trade, scan time coded in the golden hive mind of eternity. I burn my books. I burn my whole archive. A blaze that sears, synapses flaring cell to cell where memory sleeps in the wax hexagonal of my doomed and melting comb. I see him loping towards me across the vast ice field to where I wait in the cave mouth, dreaming my cubs about the den, my honeyed ones smelling of snow and sweet oblivion. Thank you. What a wonderful 